When you're interfacing a microcontroller to external circuitry, there are two parameters that are extremely important for device protection. One is the sync current. That's the ability of the chip to input current. And the other is source current the ability to output a current to a load. So for device protection, it's exceptionally important to keep these within reasonable limits. Um, you can go to the maximum values, but it's much preferable to keep within half of the design value as a good protective measure. There's also an overall device limit that needs to be adhered to as well. So when you make a connection to any device, any load, let's call it a load, you have to be cognizant of the source or output current and the sync or input current limits. So here's a couple of examples. Uh, if you're driving an LED from a GPIO pin, you have to go through these calculations and work out the correct load resistor value. Uh, on the left is driving an LED with an output current. So you take the output voltage, 3.3 volts, minus the LED voltage, divide by the typical uh, LED current, and the result is an 87 ohm resistor. So use a 82 ohm preferred value. On the right is using a 5 volt supply and series resistor to a that the input current doesn't exceed the required level, which I've chosen to be half of the maximum rating of 14 milliamps. And again, that's how you calculate the values. Well, there's theory and practice, and the simple solution is to always fit if you're connecting to an external load, a series resistor to limit input or output current. And a good value, all round value to use is 330 ohms. Sometimes it won't illuminate an LED, so you can gradually reduce that value until you're confident you have all calculated exactly. Um, and for input currents, the input impedance is relatively high. So the input current can be made safe by fitting a 330 ohm resistor. It's a simple solution that works effectively. In summary then, always check the data sheet for the required design values to make sure you're protecting the device. There will also be an overall device limit. So if you had 10 GPIO pins outputting power, then device power could be exceeded. So that's something to be aware of. And always fit a series limiting resistor. So for an input or an output. Where necessary, calculate the values, exact value, so that you're keeping the device well within specification. I hope you found this useful.